Hey everyone, it's Scott. Thanks for taking a minute and uh, checking out the blog. Today, I wanted to tell you a story about relationships. I've talked a lot about that on this blog before, the value of them, why it's so important to, to develop and nourish those relationships as a business with your, your clients and especially your really important clients. And this goes across no matter what type of business you're in. And I understand the example I'm going to give you today is is not for everybody, right? And it doesn't apply across the board, but I think we can all take something from it. So there's a store in San Jose. Uh, I travel to eBay a lot. I'm, I spend most of my time in Seattle now going to that office, but I was in uh, San Jose at the eBay campus probably once a month for about two years. And I used to stay on Santana Row, which is a, a section of, of San Jose, and at a hotel there. And I would be there for two or three nights at a time, and I was always looking for things to do. And I, I discovered this high end sort of men's store uh, called Franco Umo. High-end shirts, dress shirts, suits, really nice stuff. Um, and I, I sort of built a friendship with the owner, Franco. Very nice man, really cares about what he does, uh, and always showed that he cared about me as a customer. But you never know how much of that is somebody trying to make a sale, right? Treating their customers special, and at the end of the day, you walk out the door and you're just another customer. A few weeks ago, I, I had a friend that uh, passed away very suddenly, and I made a comment on Facebook about it. I posted a picture of her and I together and uh, just remarked that I had lost this close friend. Um, Franco not only posted a comment on, uh, on that saying, sorry for your loss, but then uh, last week I got a card in the mail from Franco and his team. And I'll read it to you. It says, Dear Scott, we are so sorry for your loss. We are wishing you, as well as, as your family and friends, all the best. Please let us know if there's anything we can do to help in your time of grieving. Sincerely, Franco and staff. So here's a company that I've done a lot of business with and I've been connected on social media, but he sent his condolences via Facebook, which is very nice, but to take the time and hand write a card and send it to me, no one did that to me. I mean, look, my family and friends got on the phone, they wished me well, but nobody did that, right? Here's somebody that I have a business relationship with that took the time to send a card, and there's a lesson there, right? Like, I don't expect you to know all the personal things that go on in your customers' lives as a, as a business owner. But when you see those opportunities, now there are a lot of things that had to happen, right? Franco had to have my information on file. He had to know my address um, to, for that to happen. You may not have that sort of setup for your business. But if you do, it's really something to think about because this is gonna be something that when I think about who I'm going to shop with when I'm in San Jose and the people that I'm going to work with, especially at a higher end sort of business where the, the prices on, on the merchandise are much higher. You know, you have, you really want to think about where you're going to spend that money. And Franco made this a, a no brainer for me. Uh, so I just want to say to Franco, and I hope he gets to see this. Thank you so much for doing this. Businesses could really learn from your example. And to those business owners that are watching this, think about how you can do this in your every day. Whether you own a bakery, or you run a shoe shine business, or uh, you sell apps on a you know on a mobile phone. There are different ways to look at this, and probably different ways you can implement something like this. It goes a really long way. So that's that's my story for what it's worth. I hope you get something out of it. Thank you for taking the time to check out ScottParent.me, and I hope to talk to you soon. Take care.